Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online and also talk about how you can become a work from home freelancer. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can apply to jobs and look for jobs on Upwork in 2023. I have a playlist with a lot of different videos on how to use Upwork, which I will link you to in the description below this video. But in today's video, I'm going to focus on finding jobs and applying to jobs. First of all, this is my profile here. You can see that I'm top rated and I've earned over 80,000 US dollars since I started on Upwork several years ago. So the first step in order to look for work is you're going to go to find work and click on find work. And this is after you have signed up to Upwork and created your own freelancing profile. Then over here is where you're going to search for a job. And if you're not sure what kind of job you want to look for, you can just click here on the search icon. So you can see here that there are over 181,000 jobs currently available on Upwork. So first of all, you're going to filter at the side by categories, experience level, and job type. So let's say, for example, you're going to look for a video editing job. You can type in here, video editing, and then click the search icon, and that's narrowed it down to over 12,000 jobs. So here you can put your experience level, if you're entry level, if you're intermediate, Let's say we're looking for an intermediate or an expert position. Then you can look if it's an hourly job, so they will pay you per hour or a fixed price job. And a fixed price job means this is the amount of money they will pay you for this particular job. Now you can put in number of proposals. So this is how many people have submitted proposals or applied for the job. So let's say you don't want one that has too many applications. Let's go and select up to 20. You can also make sure that this client is a serious client, that they have hired people before. So let's do one to nine hires and 10 plus hires. And that way you know that they have hired people before and they are comfortable spending money and willing to spend money on Upwork. You can also put in client location, time zones. And now there's a section which is new, which is connects needed. And this is great because if you don't have the freelancer plus account, you only get a certain amount of connects each month. So you could put that you're looking for jobs that you only need two or less connects to apply for. And that way you won't be spending the majority of free connects that you get each month. So with all that, it still narrowed it down to 740. So you could even put in, I'm looking for a job that's going to pay this amount. So then you can go through and look for a job that you like that you want to apply for. So let's say I want to apply to this video editor job for this person's YouTube channel. Over on the side, you can see a little bit about the client. This client has no ratings yet. However, they have hired for three different jobs. They've spent $70 total. And at the bottom here, you can see the bid range. So people who have applied to this job, the highest amount that they will do the job for is 60 and the lowest is 40. So to apply to one of these jobs, you can just click here on apply now, and then you have an option to propose with a specialized profile or your general profile. So if you have created a special, you know, video editing profile, you can select that. Otherwise just choose your general profile. And then it will show you how many connects you need to apply to the job and how many connects you have remaining. Now you'll scroll down to the terms. They'll ask you how you want to be paid. So you can put by milestone or by project. Let's just put by project. So let's say you are willing to do the job for $100. You keep that in there. This is the Upwork service fee. Upwork gets 20% of the fee. So if it's a $100 job, Upwork will get $20 and you will get $80. Then put in how long the project will take. Usually I put less than one month if it's a smaller project. And here you have your cover letter. So you might put something as simple as, hello, I am very interested in working with you as your video editor. I have been working as a freelance video editor for over five years and I'm able to put together a captivating, engaging video using highlight clips and videos. I use Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Pinnacle Studio in my video editing projects or put in whatever software you use for the type of job you are applying for. I am also able to provide royalty-free background music if that is of interest to you. I have attached some links to samples of my work. I'm looking forward to discussing this project with you further. Warm regards, Jennifer, or whatever your name is. And then here at the bottom, I would attach video editing samples. Let's say commercial one, commercial 
to, and then put links to a video on YouTube or a Google Drive link, you know, a reputable website. You also have the option to drag or upload project files, and this is great for images, but if it's a video file or an audio file, I recommend adding a link, something easy that they can just click on and listen to right away, because sometimes people don't want to download um, a bunch of files on their computer. They just want something really quick that they can watch to see if you're going to be a right fit for the job. So I always add in links to my work uh, and that way it's easier for the person who's receiving the proposal. And if you're not very good at writing a cover letter or this is difficult for you, what you can do is use one of these AI programs. So for example, this is the job here. We can go into chat GPT or you can use OpenAI Playground and we can say, please write me a short cover letter for the following job description. And then just type in the job description. And here you can see ChatGPT is writing us a little cover letter. Dear hiring manager, I'm writing to express my interest in the video editor position for your YouTube channel. I have a strong background in video editing and I'm confident that my skills and experience make me a great fit for this role. ChatGPT has written a great um, little cover letter. They have, however, pretty much copy and pasted exactly what the description is. So here they've said, I have experience putting together clips of fighters and their highlights. Well, this is probably not accurate. So you might say, I have a passion for video production and have experience putting together footage and highlights to create engaging and compelling videos. Um, so of course you might change this around, add your name, and then add in the software that you use for your video editing or audio editing or image editing, whatever position you are applying for. But using something like ChatGPT is a great way to help you create a cover letter for all sorts of positions. For example, please write me a short cover letter addressed to a person named Bob. The position is data entry and admin work. So you can literally put in whatever position you're going for and they're going to create you a little custom cover letter. This is really great. The punctuation, the spelling, everything is absolutely wonderful. I mean, AI is doing a better job of writing a cover letter than I am. So you can use something like this to have a really professional little cover letter. In my experience with Upwork, people like cover letters that are short and sweet. So two to three paragraphs, like something this length would be enough. I wouldn't recommend going five, six paragraphs. The most important thing is to include samples of your work. So once you're done that, you're going to click down, click on submit a proposal. Uh, then they'll say three things you need to know. And you'll say, yes, I understand. And then continue to submit. And then it will say your proposal was submitted. So if for whatever reason you don't want to do this anymore, or you've changed your mind, you can click down here, click on change terms and you can adjust the price point if you want, or you can click withdraw proposal and you can put apply by mistake, for example, rate right too low, then click withdraw proposal and that will cancel the proposal. And then under find work, you can click on proposals and they will show you all of your active proposals and your submitted proposals that you can review. And hopefully these active proposals will turn into job offers. I recommend just keep applying to different jobs, keep improving your portfolio, and definitely take advantage of software like this to help you create a really professional cover letter when you are applying to these jobs. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one, and I will continue to release more videos related to Upwork and jobs that are perfect for beginners on Upwork as well. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.